Okay, so I hear you want to see my office and I'm gonna bring that to you. But one thing I have to say is that it's not tidy. It's not super tidy. I have not had a chance to really clean my office since I moved into this space and it's a bit, it's just, it might trigger some people. So if that is you and you like neat stuff, you may not like this video, but let's just get started and I'm gonna show you my creative space. So off to the right, when you walk in, I have a floor pillow, which I did get from the World Market. I love that floor pillow. Um, it has baby spit up on it, just right there. And then I have this mini side table, which is really narrow, and I think it would work really great in a lot of entryways. But I got this off of Amazon so that I could like set up all of my boxes, and in my last home I had this set up to where a lot of my boxes were sitting up on here so my classic -y boxes right now I have my little turntable and this is the um one of those things you get from like Hobby Lobby and I just use it for a lot of my inserts and a lot of these are not filled these majority of these let's say about 99.9% .9 of them are blank so they're just waiting for me to use which is nice uh and then i have perfume i have perfume here because it doesn't fit in my small bathroom and then i have this guy um i've talked about this before and i think i forgot to put a link to it but you can find it on amazon i have it it's Affmat. And the sharpener works really well. I've had it for, I think, a year now and no issues. Okay, so here on this door, this is a door to a closet that is literally about two feet wide in width. And it's terrible. But um, I'm able to utilize it for all my bags. So you can see I have my superior labor bag. I have my... Um, Galen leather bag. I have a chic sparrow bag and I have my little summer hats. And then these two bags are, um, well, this one I talked about recently in a video. Why am I not remembering the name? I will list it somewhere on the screen. And then this one was also the um, bag from Australia. <clears throat> both leather bags love them you can see it the type of um, color I prefer is more of that caramel brown anyway so that's where my bags hang I got the hook from Amazon and it works pretty good so moving on oh and by the way behind this closet you don't want to open the door this is the type of closet that has stuff that could literally fall out because it's so tiny and it's so stuffed. So <laughs> moving on, I have my wall of wonders. Um, this is the wall you've seen many of my intro videos to, and I love it. I use the pegboards for, uh, for a lot of like hanging items. Um, when I first got the pegboards, I didn't really want to use it for decor. It was meant to be used for all of my art materials. Now, I don't paint as much as I used to, pretty much not at all in the past year or so, which is really sad. So I'm still able to use it for like my pens and markers and then some of the washi tape, but I do use it to hold a lot of my superior labor bags. So bam, 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 <laughs> those are there. And I love how I could utilize uh, like the different inserts that they have on this wall and it's just working out for me. And you see some of my kids artwork on here. They continue to, <laughs> to uh, create things and want me to display them in my office. So that's where they go. 
for the most part. What else do I have? These bags, my uh, Superior Labor bags here are, this one is empty. And, um, and then I have some artwork from my kindergartner. And I have a lot of pens and pencils here. Actually, I keep these here for my kids. So whenever they lose their millionth pencil, I have extras for them to reach for. I have some of those acrylographs and then some of those zig clean color markers and then tombos are up here and those twin those twin what do you call them twin tone markers whoops let's get the camera up twin tone markers are up here and then some of those posca markers are over here so got them all these were being used a lot more when i was doing more artwork which I don't do right now. I think I'm just in that phase where I just don't have the time. So I have to really pick and choose the things that make me happy at this moment. And um, that is like planning, journaling, my fountain pens. Um, this bag is empty, but I put it here to store because it does get lost when it's on this rack. And then the one below it is my more recent bag and these are the extra smalls if you're unsure about superior labor bags these are extra smalls i think i have a video about the sizing of these bags but hopefully this kind of gives you a look of um how big they are so this one i have a lot of my empty fountain pen uh cases in here so you'll see you're a you're a like what is it what is this one called? Euroliku. Yep, I was I was getting there. And I have superior labor. I have some more superior labor and um Estherbrook. Um what are these called? These are rickshaw. So I put my empty ones there, and I like to put the smaller bags there just because they fit really well in here, and you can see how much can fit in these little extra small superior labor bags, the canvas bags. Um, on the trays, I have washi tape. I also put washi tape on these little wires here and washi tape on these hooks up here. I have the little Hobonichi bags. I got the same one. It's like, oh, really? But anyway, I got two of those. And um, then I have some of my samples up here for inks. I have another Superior Labor bag, which does have a lot of washi and PET tapes in there. And then artwork. I have that, um, that bag from Apollos. Remember when the Apollos bags were like really popular um, on Instagram and with the planner community I got one and then when I moved all of my paint pens spilled on it so it's not as aesthetic looking as I would prefer it to be but it's it's hanging in there it's hanging in there I have no idea why I got the super small size I mean it can hardly fit much in there um I have my things now that are on top of the Ikea drawers and so this time I'm using it as like a I put them together in my last house they were separate and one of them was stored in the closet to help with storage because the space was actually smaller than this room but now I can kind of display them and use them more functionally with the surface being able to hold and display some of my fountain pens so I have art stuff in all of these mainly like my really good watercolor paper and my really good watercolor uh, painting materials and um, and then on this side I have mainly um, some of well that's where all of my inks are stored so not in all the drawers but in majority of the drawers now so if I were to reach down I'm trying to avoid having to move the camera too much I don't want to make you guys seasick but that's drawer one two and three yeah 
So now I have these really cool acrylic boxes and they came in a pack of three. So I have three of them. Um, so you see two of them right now on this side of the room. And I really like them because it's like a little case, you know, like you go into a, a store and you see trinkets in a case and it just makes me smile and it makes me really excited. I don't know. Whenever I walk in my room, I feel like I'm, I'm going into like a museum of really special artifacts, special Britney artifacts. So, um, so in this one, I have my Sky Bambi, uh, what do you call that? The, her new like case. This is the medium size. And then I also have her, um, it was her accordion case thing as well. These are really easy to open and they do have a magnetic little closure there for them to kind of go close, but it's not because of this, because of this metal box. I have that in there. I have some print on stickers and a couple of notebook covers with some notebooks in there. And then I have the, um, what do you call these? The Toyo, Toyo boxes. So I have the Toyo box. This is the larger one that has that really cool snap here. And I have it open so that I can display stuff inside. And the cool thing is that it fits in this, in this box, this acrylic box. So next over are the acrylic boxes you can get from Hobby Lobby. And this is when storing your uh, washi tape in acrylic boxes back in like 2018 was really popular. And so I did that. Um, you have to be careful because if you don't use your washi, they, some of the cheaper ones tend to not stick anymore. And then it ends up sticking on itself. And since the whole thing has one side that's sticky, it's just, you're almost never going to use it again. And I'm pretty sure I have some of those. I did get rid of a lot of them that were like that. But now that I haven't really touched these because I'm all into the PET tapes now, they're just there for display. <laughs> um, I also use the bottom ones for like fountain pen extras, things that have broken, some extra like ties from um, Traveler's Notebook covers. Um, I recently actually cleaned this. So it used to be a lot fuller with stuff, but now it's more like, for fountain pens and writing materials there. I have my big cases for fountain pens and half of these are full. So I can only display so much and I have this box for my fountain pens. They are, these are all the ones that are clean for the most part. And then I also have some that this actually folds up, opens upwards. So um, that's closed right now because it's a bunch of stuff is sitting on top of it. So I have another Toyo box with some stamps in here and I have another uh, classic -y box here. And then oh, it's all dusty because you could see it. The light makes it dusty. Um, another superior labor bag. This is the extra small bag. Um, that doesn't have a handle. I have the classic -y, um, tape dispenser and then also the classic -y, like little holder here where you could put like, cards and papers and stickers. So that's what I'm using that for. I have the um, Atelier Penelope pouch. So that just sticks right in there and I have a bunch of stickers and, and things like that in there. Uh, another Toyo toolbox. What's in here? Ooh, let's check it out. Can I open it with one hand? Okay, so stamps are in here. And the cool thing about this is that they're magnetic. So you could put things that are magnetic and I have these little magnetic um, pieces of art, of my art, back in when I had my uh, my shop. Oh, and then I have another superior labor. This is like the case, zip case, which I have more fun things in there. And then we have the 
acrylic cases that, um, well, a little story. I bought these before I bought the one down here. And that's because I thought this would fit all my fountain pens. And it was a six tier, no, five tier. And I thought, oh, this would be perfect. But they don't fit. Only like super tiny pens fit in here. So your average size fountain pens will not fit. Therefore, I... <laughs> It was a bust, but I figured, well, I can fit my um, stamps in here. So that's what I started to do because I was running out of space to fit my other stamps. So this is perfect for stamps, wooden stamps, if you collect them, which I do. And then the Hobonichi Techo 2024 box below it. And that's just to ease the strain of the weight on top of these newer acrylic boxes that I have for my fountain pen display right now. So let me get out of the light so you guys can see better. Okay, so these are all my pretty pens. I love them. And Sailor, Sailor Alert, and then Randos, some of the Randos. Um, so that's all I have for like display cases. It would be really nice if I could get like a huge one to display all my pens, but that's just not realistic, especially with the space I have. And plus the fact that I get really nervous about moving and this is not going to be our final home. So I always have to be wary of that because it's just really nerve wracking when it comes to having to move all your really precious precious items. <clears throat> so then moving over, we have this little area where I have my bow bag, which does have stuff in there. And I have another box here. I have my Galen leather, like writer clipboard there. And then I have another superior labor little pouch. These things are really cool because they have that little wire that you could really I'll squish it and mold it to make it fit um, the items that you have in here. And so you can see how much I've stuffed in here. It's actually a pretty good bag to fit stuff. And then I have this box, which I got from like a calligraphy, a calligraphy set. And so I'm just repurposing it to use as like scraps and things that I um, took pieces of, but I want to keep it in case I want to put it in another journal. So I do that. I have this box, which my husband gave me. It's a plant box. Um, since we left, I had to, we couldn't really move with my plants. So I had to give them to my friends. And so he bought me some new plants and they are the miniature, um, miniature Japanese plant. I can't think of the name, but I grow them and I haven't yet done it because it's winter. And I'm afraid that if I do start it now, they will die because they need so much light. So I'm waiting until spring to work on this project. Next is where I store all my boxes. And these are um, boxes I do feel like I need to get rid of, but I do like to reuse my boxes. So that's why I try to save the bigger ones in case I, you know, I wanna sell something and I'm not buying a new box. Um, I have this Ikea drawer furniture thing that I have put upright in my last office. It was on its side and so it was shorter to the ground. But this one is where I store a lot of my notebook covers here and just other random art stuff that I have back there. So it's not really pretty looking and um, I'm running out of space. That is for sure. I also have all of my like VDS and Gilio boxes in there. And I think I'm going to do a D stash um, because I'm no longer in rings. And there's no reason for me to keep things that I, I know I'm just not into right now. At least I know for sure rings is just, it was just a phase and I'm over that phase. I have my little cart here and it is very full. I have a lot of pens down here and uh, mild liners. Um, 
what do you call this? This was that dryer from Tim Ranger, the heat dryer tool, which does come in handy for a lot of, a lot of things. Some more pouches. And up here, just a lot of knickknacks and things that I used to write to pen pals. Washi tape, the Yoseka wrap roll, and more empty pouches on there because I love pouches. And then just a quick um, look at my desk. So I did get myself a standing mobile desk. And um, it's right here, kind of like in the middle of the room. And then off to the side over here is my work desk where I have all my work computers. So no need to look in that direction. But I decided to make it like an L shape. So it's like this way and my other desk is this way. And I really like it. I can face the door. So uh, my kids are across the way from me and I can watch them if I need to from inside my office. And then I could stand in my office, which is really nice to have the ability to do that. Um, some of the other things, I have my third acrylic box up here and that has more of my recent newer planners and Hobonichi stuff for 2024. Yay, 2024. And um, another acrylic box with some of these stamps some random fun goodie things that I got from a lot of pen pals actually and I have my ride or die canvas uh little setup here this thing I think is was a really good investment especially when I was doing more artwork pieces I mean I use this every day or every time I am doing a YouTube video so that is very helpful. But I've noticed that some people are saying that it's it can it's getting loose over time. It's just not as sturdy. But I think um, for the price and for how much use I've gotten out of it with my videos and having my phone just sit on here and watch me on my desk, um, it's it's been like it's I've gotten more than my money's worth. And so I'm really, I really love this. I mean, the fuse for the light hasn't gone out or anything like that. Oh my gosh, knock on wood. I hope it doesn't go out. I left this light on like all night before multiple times because I just forgot about it. Um, the light is very strong. It can really light up a whole desk here. So if you're ever wondering about it, I think this is definitely a uh, piece a staple in my filming for YouTube and it definitely beats one of those handheld like type of things that connect to your your desk that's just my my two cents there and then on top of my desk I have this acrylic thing which I'm able to put my computer on top of and then just another superior labor bag because I love superior labor. Um, and then if I go around, let's walk around. I have my chest of wonders in here. It's a lot of my old notebooks that I used. Let's see. Let's open it. Can I open it? Oh. So... Just a little peek. These are my old journals and I keep them with me. Then I have another little rack. This one I got from Amazon. Not a huge fan of it. It's a little clunky looking, but it does the job. I have like a lot of my pencils up here, which mainly my kids use nowadays and um, some old stamps a lot of my old stickers, and I have a lot of unused notebooks that are not traveler's notebook size. Oh, and boxes. Oh, so let's squat. Um, these are A5 size, my favorite size notebook. And these are all empty. They're just waiting to be used. And um, so yeah, I just keep them there. 
So I'm constantly reminded that I do have a notebook, an empty blank notebook to use if I need one rather than just buying one all the time. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much how it goes. Oh, I do have my HP printer next to me and um, everything else. Like this little thing here, this round thing is a trash can, which is pretty handy. And it's sitting below a fan, which I leave in my room because this room does not have a fan. Um, I have breast pumps here. I use that uh, during my work day. And that's pretty much all I got to share with you guys. I do love this desk, how it's magnetic. And so I can hang bags. So I do have my other um, superior labor bag. And this is the one that has... It's the larger one that also has those wires so you can adjust it however you need to. So I just kind of keep that there so it stays off the floor and looks some more, it looks more intentional. And then I have two chairs in here. I have this one, which I got from Home Goods. No, not Home Goods. I got it from At Home. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have an At Home, then yeah, you know. Uh, and this one is really nice. It's actually very comfortable. It has a little bit of padding and I mean, it's, it's worked really well, but I ended up getting this chair, which is used, uh, because when I got pregnant, I needed a little bit more comfort. It was, uh, really hard on my back sitting in that, but that was just because I was pregnant and you get back pain when you're pregnant for the most part. So that's what happened. Anyhow, so there you have it. Here is my office space. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my commentary. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I love it. I love this. I love this office. I love having a little bit more space, but not like overwhelming amount to where I feel like I need to fill the room. So there's that to consider because if it were any bigger, it would probably be just as filled up somehow, some way. Um, but anyway, if you have questions, let me know. If you want me to link something, um, let me know. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.